What is up guys, Achoo here, bringing you another review on Sword Art Online Alicization. This episode definitely was great, I really enjoyed it, and I was waiting for anticipation because of how we were going to finally get a fight between Yujiro and Kirito, and them going all out. And not only that though, we also got to see a major turn of events happen in this episode that I was honestly not expecting. Uh, but nonetheless i think this episode was awesome i did enjoy it and we got to see some quality animation like that's one thing i really want to put out there like we had quality animation from the time that they zoomed on yujiro's face after getting angry the it felt so smooth like even when chuckles was doing his thing like he was also very detailed drawn and I really enjoyed that. I honest to goodness really enjoyed seeing how great of an animation this was. But enough of the fangirling there. We also got to see, the, like I said, the fight between these two. And how they were going all out. Like this was crazy to see how Kirito and Moment thought maybe he might surpass him. But of course Kirito doesn't let himself get beaten. They do go back and forth. Yuju actually was very serious throughout this whole fight and it honestly surprises me to see how little reaction we got of Yuju considering he's very is a very emotional guy and so to see him in this new I guess light really made me personally like like that more about Yuju because we've only seen his side where you know he's upset or he's crying but not his cool level side and it's like being a villain suits him honestly. Uh, but Kirito does try to like bring back the whole situation where there are people that actually want you to come home They're they're waiting for you. You know Selka is one of the ones that are looking waiting for you to return Obviously you want to take Alice back to, with you to rule the village And so it was Kirito playing at the heartstrings and it, it wasn't working at the very first but We started seeing some reaction towards it uh, but I gotta say, Kirito had one of the most hardest times with an opponent. Considering the opponent is also your friend, but that person is no longer your, really your friend. He's more of a controlled puppet. And just seeing, you know, the consistent struggle. But it was just really enjoyable like to see like how at the very end we kind of see him actually breaking through. And like it wasn't a perfect synthesization. Like it really wasn't. He wasn't fully synthesized, but I, I do like to see how, you know, Yujiro was able to kind of whoop up these new skills. Like, I, I didn't really enjoy that. And Alice, again, was very much surprised to see Yujiro's abilities this way. How, you know, he doesn't seem like a simple novice. He seems to be able to control himself very well. Which makes me wonder, wanting to think, did Yuji actually, you know, held back cer certain things from Kirito when he were normal? And if so, you know, how much more does he have on him? Like, I feel like he could actually defeat him. But, of course, that's not the case here. You know, Kirito does get the win almost. But, then we have Yuji turning the turning the situation on them. Using his sword, he freezes them. Uh, and they're just frozen in time he just then decides to go up and go see the administrator he's then met by chuckles who obviously we know that he had not died the last episode i wanted him to go on because he's useless to the story and he's just kind of there and wasting space honestly i don't like his persona his music's creepy the way he it looks is ugly i just all around i hate this character but when he addresses, you know, when he talks to you know, Yujiro, Yujiro sounds disrespectful to him and he just wants all this so-called respect. And when he tries to, like, go away, we see him and the, well, when he does go away, excuse me, when Chuckles goes away, we have both uh, Yujiro and the administrator sharing a moment. And this is where things really start heating up because we see how... Yujiro, of course, lost, his, lost part of his memory, but it was remembering things, and he was in that same state where we've seen a few other Integrity Knights be in. And then he kind of re regains his senses. I don't really know how, because that kind of seemed confusing to me, because of the hole that he left there, and he didn't call 
core protection or whatnot, or like remove core protection. Like I didn't understand that, and that was kind of like a little bit over my head. But at the same time, it's like he, that Yu-Gi-Oh is back to normal. He's able to, you know, react. He tries to so hard to use the little sword or dagger that the librarian gave him, and it did not work, unfortunately. But I feel like if had they broken through, it could. Well, if he had broken through, that he could have defeated her. Excuse me. He could have defeated her uh, rather easily. Uh, but of course, she then says, you know, uh, there the, my skin is being protected. But I think that's a lie. I mean, yeah, the shield's there, but it's a lie. And then we have all three of them actually going in there together. Kirito and Alice join up with Yujiro. Yujiro apologizes. Kirito's like, it's whatever. We kind of knew. And we have, um, I don't want to say that administrator is in a pinch or in a situation really. She just kind of leaves. Uh, and do know she was actually naked, which I don't understand either. Like, I hate this character and I hate Chuckles and speaking of him he actually makes a selfish request wanting her for one night to do anything he wants to protect her here and I was like wow this guy is desperate and he's probably gonna die but I want to say that this dude really pulled out all the stops for this girl but guys let me know what you guys think as always stay safe take care of yourselves and others and I will catch you later